So let's hope you're not affected by this. This is the buggy Windows 10 cumulative update. This is the uh, Fall Craters update, so the 1709, and it is the specific patch KB4074588, and it's causing lots of problems with blue screening and borking USB. So there's an article here on Computer World, but let's dig into the details of the solution, because hopefully it's why you're here. So we've been seeing a bunch of these come into the shop. It's a super aggravating problem because it disables USB on a lot of computers that we run to, well, at least all the ones that have come in so far, uh, and we've had to go out and do service calls. There's not really any easy solution for this. Uh, if you have remote access, so our managed clients uh, or people that we have maintain remote access for, it's easy. We go in and we can unroll back the update. But if you lack the ability to use keyboard and mouse, you can't roll it back. So I'm gonna leave a link here to some of the descriptions of how to fix this, um, how to roll back the update. And it's this is the update number, it's KB4074588. And you can just roll it back if you can get into your computer. If you can't get into your computer, we're gonna jump right to that problem. So method four, last resort, uh, this is when you can't get anything going and you've tried different keyboards and mouse. Now, kind of the crux of the update problem is if it's a standard HID device, which a lot of keyboards and mice fall under, they don't have their own drivers, they use just the standard keyboard and mouse drivers, these are the ones that just don't work. So if you can find another keyboard that is a special, that uses its own driver, it may work. Not a guarantee, but it may work. We've actually found where sometimes they have a custom mouse uh, or like a gaming mouse and the gaming mouse works, but the other ones don't. Uh, odd but it's it's inconsistent but this is the unfortunate way of the design of windows 10 meth is why we're getting here method four you have to crash the computer a few times on purpose for whatever reason they've decided that windows 10 you shouldn't have access to things like safe mode and pressing f8 like we did in previous versions of windows uh, so the solution is uh, keep crashing the computer and hope you can get into there and right here is the command prompt you want to run so if you can get the windows into its automatic repair mode and get its command prompt and then you can run this tool here and this is the roll up fix that will fix that as well so you can actually remove this package you're removing that specific update to get it to work and once you do that it should reboot and start working and this will actually fix if you're even more unlucky than the keyboard and mouse people where you have an accessible boot device uh if you can get it into that it's the same thing these are the same updates so i'll leave you a link to this uh, i just want to throw it out here because i'm throwing it out here for you for all their clients and people that are maybe searching for this so there is kind of a fix besides just reloading the computer uh, but it's just a pain to apply and sometimes breaking windows breaks it even more because you have to basically get it starting up and unplug it before it starts up all the way basically forcing a shutdown forcing the problem so you can get to this mode uh, because it's so crazy because it just boots up and doesn't let you do anything because <laughs> it just says nope you don't have keyboard and mouse access but it does work in the bios so it's yeah it's an infuriating problem uh, thanks microsoft it, this is the love hate uh, i have with microsoft because um all those computers that are coming in from their retail side for this it's how we make money and then i feel bad for all the people that are going why did i have to spend money on something uh that just broke that, I, that i'm not at fault for i'm like welcome to microsoft they don't like to give easy ways to fix things they want to be auto magical uh, on all their updates without any easy way to go hey let's just roll it back to the previous version they didn't want to give you such uh, easy tools to do that. So this is the method by which you can do it. I will leave the link in the descriptions below. Hopefully you found this helpful. And hopefully you can get it fixed without reloading Windows. If not, uh, good luck on reloading Windows. Thanks.